In this video, I show you how to finalize the Windows 10 VirtualBox settings so it's ready for use. If this video helps you, please remember to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Welcome, my name is Joe and in this video we're going to be going over the already created virtual machine and its settings just to make sure we've got the best possible setup. Now this video is part of a small series so I'll link the, uh, the, the whole series up there and in the description down below. If you're having trouble getting this far then please check over those videos and get back to us. Um, if you're still having trouble after that leave a comment and we'll help you out as best way we can. There's a few things we need to go over to tidy up from the last video. Firstly, we're going to disconnect the ISO image file from the virtual drive that we connected to install the uh, virtual machine in the first place. We do this for a couple of reasons. The first being there's a countdown timer every single time you turn on the machine um, because it's connected. So we can get rid of that five second countdown and just boot straight into the virtual machine. And secondly, a lock is placed on the ISO file whilst it's connected to the virtual machine, so you're unable to use it for anything else. So to do this, if we flick over to the screens, make sure you have the correct virtual machine selected, then click onto Settings, go down to Storage, you'll see the Windows 10 ISO connected there. If you click onto it once, and then come over to the disk on the side here, and click remove disk from virtual drive. You'll now see that's turned to empty and we can OK that. Now by default the virtual machine has been allocated 2 gigabytes of RAM. Depending on how much RAM you have on your physical computer I recommend upping this slightly. Now to up it go into settings, click onto system and then here you see base memory and it's set at 2048 megabytes which is class as 2 gigabytes. I would recommend for most people to put it up to 4096 which is 4 gigabytes. Now I've got quite a lot of RAM in my computer so I'm actually going to up mine to 8 gigabytes and OK that but before you OK that and before you select anything I would advise checking your settings. So if you go to a file explorer if you go to a file explorer and click onto this PC and then right click properties you will see all of your basic details here and installed memory RAM I've got 64 gigabytes so I can afford to allocate 8 gigabytes to uh, my virtual machine but basically you can't um, go over this amount and I wouldn't recommend um, going above 50% so if you only have 8 gigabytes of RAM don't go above 4 gigabytes for the virtual machine. Now if I close this down and this. The reason we would up the RAM is just to make the virtual machine run a little bit more efficiently a little bit faster. Um, when it's only got 2 gigabytes of RAM that's the very minimum Windows 10 really works on so if you can up it at all then that's that's great it's not a requirement you don't have to do that it is optional so if you can't afford the extra RAM then um, don't panic yourself the virtual machine will still work absolutely fine. Now we've disconnected the virtual drive and we've allocated more RAM we're ready to fire up the virtual machine so click start and once it's booted we can click off these little things here they annoy me you may not be bothered you could leave them if you wanted to so now it's booted let's just double check that we've allocated the RAM correctly go to your file explorer right click on this computer and properties and then you'll see installed RAM 8 gigabytes so that's the thing that I changed to you yours might say 4 or 2 depending on how much you've got allocated to your virtual machine you will also notice that for me it says Windows is not activated. That's because I did not input the uh, the license code when I installed Windows in the previous video. I'm going to activate that now. So if you did the same, um, if you get your activation code ready, then you can activate Windows here. Now this is what you're expecting to see when you um, haven't activated Windows. So you can either buy the code here or you can go to the uh, change the product key and then enter your product key and then it just gives you one last chance to cancel but click activate 
and then you will see it activated. If you notice down here, it still says not activated. If we close it and then reopen it, it will now have updated. It's now activated. Now there's two more things that we need to do. One of them being checking for updates. Um, Microsoft are known for lots of updates. So don't be surprised if you need to do this four or five times. First of all, type in update and you sometimes you have to type update and sometimes you have to type updates it doesn't always come up so you're looking for check for updates there and this screen will come up you've got um, a few different things that might happen one might be that you've not checked for updates before I've actually done a few of the updates on here already just to speed things up a little um, and now I've got this big update to do this is a big one so um, I'm going to install that now and I'll pause the video and come back to it afterwards. So that has now been completed and as you can see the background has slightly changed from the update. Uh, that wasn't me, that was the update that's completed that. Now the very last thing that we need to do is go up to devices and go insert guest edition CD. Now before I do that I'm going to show you if you maximize the screen you get this white horrible kind of Thing where it doesn't scale properly so the guest edition cd will solve all of that and it will also enable some other options as well so you click onto it and then see the disk there i'm going to click and then run i'm going to click yes here and this is going to install a set of um, drivers and uh, software for the virtual machine to be able to operate correctly next and I'm going to leave everything as default and install and then you might get a couple of these pop up um, if you do if you click install otherwise they're drivers that aren't going to work properly in this case this was a video driver okay and just to apply the changes we need to reboot and now as you can see it automatically updates and scales to the size of the screen properly you can tell that it's been installed properly by the little icon down here. And now finally, if we go to the File Explorer, right click on this computer, this PC, and go to Manage. And then select Device Manager. You'll see that everything has been installed so these are all the drivers and if you have any explanation marks or errors at this point they'll kind of come out as like a drop down like this with a with an error here um, the fact that nothing has dropped down means that all of the drivers have installed correctly i now consider this a fully working virtual machine and it's been optimized uh, within kind of basic but reasonable boundaries and now you're ready and free to use it as you will. Remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment. And thanks very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.